guys, Captain Foley back with you again today for another video. Uh, today we're going to be talking about another one of my favorite film franchises, or at least a toy or action figure from that, and that is Indiana Jones. Now this one is from the Dial of Destiny. Um, <clears throat> lucky enough to have one Indiana Jones toy left when I went to across the border to uh, the States. Found one at Target. Most of them were other action figures that really didn't care about but I got a I got a uh, Indiana Jones which we're gonna look at today this is the new pa uh, plastic free packaging and uh, I've never really got one of the plastic free packaging toys before so we're gonna take a look at it and look at the figure look at the likeness just look at the f look at it and see how good it is would you look at it look at it just would, would you look at that Anyway, we're going to look at this today and uh, see what we can see with this. And, yeah, um, I mean, hey, I don't usually talk about Indiana Jones, but I do love 80s and 90s and pop, pop fiction, pulp fiction. Not pulp, I love pulp fiction too, but pop culture uh, <laughs> icons and toys. So we're going to look at that today and see what we can see with this figure. It looks pretty good, um, but... We're gonna we're gonna get into it. So, anyways, let's do just that. Let's get into the package. All right. So here is the front of the packaging: Indiana Jones Adventure Series from the latest film. And then you see Indy, which is a fairly good likeness of Harrison Ford, I think. Looking forward to getting into this one. To build an artifact, so each figure comes with a different piece. So you can build a larger artifact which is always fun and kind of frustrating at the same time. So this is by Hasbro, of course, Indiana Jones, Dial of Destiny, and then the, the plastic-free packaging, ages 4 plus, except tape and glue. Uh, okay, thanks for the, uh, the update there, guys. Uh, I just, I don't know. Um, build an artifact. There you got the, the three Shankara, Shakara stones with the mount. Uh, there's the other figures there. You've got Indiana Jones, some dude, some some chick, short round, and uh, that looks like the Temple of Doom Indy, which I would have loved to have gotten. Uh, let's see, Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny. Another shot, of, same shot of the figure. There are the, what it includes. You got Indy, you got the whip, you got his satchel, you got a flashlight and a backpack with rope and, and a, a snake, I guess. You got the uh, top part of the artifact there, the snake, which is a pretty good part to get, honestly. But on this side of the box, Indiana Jones uh, Adventure Series, nice painting of Indy uh, or Harrison Ford. And there he is doing his whip action nothing on the top upc and legalese on the bottom but that's the front of the packaging now this plastic free packaging kind of irritates me because you can't actually see the figure that's inside yes you got a perfect picture of it you got a perfect representation of it however with and i'm sure a lot of people have mentioned this before with the plastic packaging where you can actually see the figure, you can see if there's paint errors. You can see sometimes the eyes are wonky. They're not painted properly. Uh, you can actually see the figure. Uh, sure, this is a great shot of the figure if that's what it looks like. Uh, but I'm sure they put their best on the packaging. And I'm not sure that's what I'm getting when I open this box. So... <sighs> Yeah, there's been many times where the figure uh, is supposed to look fantastic, but you see the figure through the packaging and the eyes, like I said, are not painted properly or there's a, a defect from the factory in some way. Uh, it, it really helps determine whether you want to buy it or not. So, I don't know. This, I get, yeah, trying to save the planet, all that, that's great, but there's got to be a way <laughs> that you can the figure and I understand you can't really put a flap on the front and not have uh, you know plastic covering the figure because then people are going to steal the figures but there's got to be a way there's got to be a better way to do this 
But anyway, we're going to see. This is my first plastic-free packaging that we're going to break into today. And we'll see if I got lucky. This is a roll of the dice. This is gambling. And uh, we'll see how it pays off for me. So, so let's, let's do this thing. All right. So here it is out of the packaging. You see the Build the Artifact. That's a little plastic or a wax papery bag there. Uh, this is obviously the accessories and the Build an Artifact thing. Uh, over here is Indy, I suppose. So let's get these out and see. Take that out first. Indy. Get rid of that. Done up like a mummy. All right. Uh, the packaging I do kind of like. I do kind of like this um, wax paper. Looks like the Indiana Jones maps. Oops, had it upside down. You see the plane, and then the world map. That's kind of cool. So, no complaints there. All right, here's the figure itself with this satchel. Um, now, the thing about Harrison Ford, uh, young and old, he's, he looks a lot like my dad, so every time I see Indiana Jones, I just see my dad. Um, I do like the hat brim being flexible. The hat's a good size. It's not overly large. It does not come off. Um, the eyes aren't bad. They're fairly well done. Uh, shirt detail is nice. The coat detail is nice. Pretty good articulation, I think. Um, uh, yeah, we're going to get into the accessories. I have things to say about that, too. All right. <clears throat> Belts, pants, shoes. This is actually a pretty cool, nice looking figure, I gotta say. So I'm kind of glad I got this one. Um, I'm glad I found an Indiana Jones, because I didn't want any other, of the other figures. Would I prefer a younger Indiana Jones? Yes, absolutely. Um, but, this is not so bad. So, let's get these out and take a look at what's in here. Shall we? We shall! And here they are. So here is the for build your artifact thing, there is the cobra. Pretty impressive looking cobra, actually. Um, snakes. Why did it have to be snakes? Sorry, I dropped it. Um, that's actually a pretty good, like, companion piece for that. Just sitting beside him or whatever. Packaging out of here. So, as you can see, it is a fairly large snake compared to Indiana. But it is supposed to be top of the monument, um, as you can see there. It is the top piece of the Shikara stones holder. So, but it works as a its own little like snake thing. Uh, so that's that's pretty cool. It's kind of reminiscent of the old 12-inch GI Joe action figures. Um, I know my brother had those and uh, played with them quite a bit as a kid. And they came with snakes and stuff as well because those 12 inch um, G.I. Joe figures were adventure figures, not necessarily, not necessarily military. Like when they went to the um, three and three quarter inch figures. So anyway, so there is the snake. Uh, next up, we've got the whip, the bull whip. It is molded quite nicely. Quite realistically, um, I kind of like that it doesn't unfurl because usually when you have to wind up or coil up the whip when it is an actual whip, it never looks good. This will look good. It's got a little peg hole there, which will go on the side of Indiana Jones here, I'm sure. Um... Yep, there is the little peg right there. So we will plug that on there. And that looks pretty decent. The whip at his side. I whip my whip back and forth. I whip my whip back and forth. Oh no, I'm sorry. Alright, so 
Next up is the backpack. Again, love that it's all molded together. I think the paint job is pretty good. The rope looked like it was in separate piece on the box. Like the tools in there, I think they're molded quite well. It looks very realistic. Um, will I put this on him? I mean, maybe. <laughs> you know what? Let's put it on. Sure, why not? Um, might as well do the whole figure thing. So that goes on that arm. Oh, well, you can see this. Sorry, the... Uh, Binder's kind of wonky here. Put that on that arm. Actually, that's not too bad. That's not too shabby. So there it is. I think it looks good on his back. All right. Now, one thing that I'm kind of disappointed with is that the only other accessory that we have here is this flashlight. Or, if you're British... A torch. Um, dude, this is Indiana Jones. Yes, he's got his signature whip. He's got his satchel. He's got his leather jacket. He's got his hat. Check, 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 check. Where is his hand cannon? Now, I'm going to be perfectly f honest with you guys. Today is September 6th. I have not yet seen Dial of Destiny. I'm well aware of main plot points in it and all that. I haven't seen it. I don't know if he has a hand cannon in it. And the reason I say hand cannon and not gun is because every time Indiana Jones fired that gun, it sounded like a cannon. It was a pretty powerful weapon. Where is his gun? I would love to have Indiana Jones have a gun. Why does he only have a whip? Has older Indy given up using weapons? Has he become Batman? I, I, I don't know. Um, I mean, Batman does use weapons and does kill people, um, despite what everybody thinks. But anyway, uh, we have this. We have the the, the lamp, which uh, will fit in his, his hand there. So let's do that real quick. Uh, put that in his hand. Oops, this way. Uh, let's see, how well does he hold this thing? Um, Alright, come on, there we go, there we go, alright. Get it in there all the way, though. That's the question. This is never a fun process to do, nor does it ever look good on camera. <laughs> Usually it's something you fiddle with off camera to get it right. So there you go. He's he's holding the lantern. Not correctly though. I've got to get those fingers. I mean, okay. That's close enough, I suppose. Eh, it looks all right. All right. So, there is your figure. And sure, he looks all action adventure -y. He's got the backpack. He's got the rope. He's got a uh, pickaxe or whatever that is sticking out of it, as well as a pair of pliers. Tools. He's got tools. Um, and it looks good. Uh, I just wish there was... Honestly, I wish there was a gun as, a, as an accessory. But... Here we are. So, honestly, I'm pretty happy with it. It will go on a display shelf. I don't even mind the, the lamp. I wasn't going to put the lamp in his hand, the, uh, the flashlight, but I think I will keep it. I just wish it would have been a gun instead, but hey. Um, now, one more finishing touch to make him look more action-y. Hold on one second. I'm going to turn you guys off for this because I don't want you to experience the noise of me messing with the toy which i'm sure you already have so all right hold on one second all right so i was trying to emulate the pose on the box here where he's got his hand on his satchel strap um i've done that but the arm doesn't it, it pulls it away from the body and it looks kind of stupid so i'm going to 
and there's no way to really fix that either. I'm just going to let the satchel strap lay down flat and put his hand by his side, I think. Um, that is a really cool look with the arm up like that, but I don't think I can actually achieve that and have the same look. So, anyway. Um, so there you have it. There is Indiana Jones from the Dial of Destiny, at least one of the figures. And uh, I'm pretty happy with it, honestly. It's a pretty good likeness. The one thing I gotta say about this plastic free packaging is that it's a lot easier to get the figure out. You don't have to worry about the twist ties, you don't have to worry about it like vacuum sealed inside in a position that you have to like pry it out of the plastic and make a shit ton of noise doing it. So I kind of like that in a way, but at the same time, like I said, I wish I could have been able to see the actual figure before I purchased it. Um, sometimes they are not alike uh anyway i don't know how you guys feel about that comment down below what you think about the plastic free packaging yeah i get it you're trying to we're trying to save the planet and all that but um what are your thoughts uh about being able to see the figure and make sure that it is actually correct and not a weird paint deviation or whatever. Comment down below. Let me know if you have this figure, if you have any of the other ones, if you would suggest any good Indiana Jones figures for me to get to, to look at, um, in, like including like younger Indiana Jones. Like I think this one here is from the Temple of Doom. He looks younger. He's got the, the shirt with the one sleeve missing. So I would love to get that one at some point. But and there you see the other figures with the other pieces of the uh, build and artifact. Oh, that's Indiana Jones, too. I just figured that out. That is also Indiana Jones from the Temple of Doom. Yeah. So he's got the stones. This lady has the, the front of the skull. Short round gets sh it's short changed by getting the back of the artifact. Oh, my God. And uh, then there is whatever that is. Uh, I can't really determine what that is. comes with the other anyway so all right there you have it indiana jones adventure series right there um cool all right guys so there you have it indiana jones figure pretty impressed with it honestly um it does look like my dad <laughs> so it's a good addition. It's a good addition to my collection, I think. It does look like Indiana Jones, does look like Harrison Ford, so that's good. Uh, I, I, like I said, I was just like a younger Indiana Jones from like Raiders or from Temple of Doom. Um, but that's okay. Maybe I'll get one eventually. I think I might actually have one down in a bin somewhere. Um, but if you have any suggestions for ones that I should pick up, please let me know. I would love to do so and to do a video on it would be awesome so if you can suggest any please please do so in the comments section here of course is his snake which he hates he doesn't like snakes um so that's a pretty cool accessory as well honestly so there you have it guys please like i said comment down below whether you have this figure whether you are going to get this figure what did you think of my review let me know in the comments section that's what it's there for i want to hear from you guys i want to hear your thoughts on things I want to hear what you guys want me to talk about. So many things you can do down in the comments section. Please be nice. Um, if you have a legit criticism, let me know, but do it in a kind way, please. Um, but I'm, I want to hear from you guys, absolutely. So like the video, please hit that like button, that thumbs up, very important. Please subscribe to the channel, the Captain Foley personal channel, as well as the Trek Yards main channel as well. That's uh, the main Star Trek channel that we do here. We love talking about Star Trek, so. Go subscribe over there and also check out another video by me as well and uh, until next time i am captain foley and i will see you later bye everybody